Let's talk about code snippets. I use them often in my videos, and I don't think I really explain what they are. I just use them, and all of a sudden I get Visual Studio Magic. Let's see if we can demystify the magic. If I type 4, you'll see I get this icon for 4 here, and there's also an icon for 4 each, and icon for 4, that sort of thing. This is what's known as a code snippet. Code snippets were added to Visual Studio in 2005 or 2008, I can't remember. It was a really cool thing back then, and it is a cool thing. It just helps us generate a lot of redundant code. For example, say I want to write a for loop, and you get tired of saying int i get 0, i less than whatever number, i plus plus, and then add the curlies. Well, using the code snippets, you can do that automatically. Let me just put the cursor at the end of 4 here, and I hit tab, and Visual Studio, when it, when it sees the tab key, it says, oh, is this a code snippet? If it is, let's expand the snippet. It turns out that 4 is a code snippet, and at that point I can go in here and say, well, I don't like the variable i, I think the variable jamie is a lot better. I hit tab again to move over to length, and then watch what happens to this i and this i. I just renamed the variable i to jamie, and so all the i's turn into jamie, and then I can say jamie less than 10 or whatever. And I can tab back and forth between the fields. Maybe I don't like the name Jamie. I want Harry. And then I can tab again and change this. I can do this all day long. Eventually when I hit enter, the cursor will end up here inside of the for loop. So that is a basic code snippet. I use code snippets all the time in my videos and I realize I haven't said anything about them. Okay, let's try a for each. You know, maybe I have a string array. People. People new array and I don't know many people let's do Jamie Jim I don't even know anyone called Jim and I'm not sure if I know anyone called Bob but whatever for each tab I hit tab to autocomplete there I could also use the enter key for each enter either way the cursor has to be at the end of the potential code snippet I know that for each is a code snippet because of the icon here hit enter hit tab String, name, in collection, people, and I can tab through these all I want to. Eventually, when I hit enter, my cursor ends up right where I want it to be. Console, right line, name, and there you go. We have, we have our three names to the screen there. All right, well, where, where's all this magic come from in Visual Studio? Let me show you. I'm going to hit Control-KB. Up pops the code snippets manager. Obviously, there's different snippets for different languages depending on what language you're working in. We're working in Visual C Sharp now, so I can click on Visual C Sharp and I get this kind of hierarchy of where to look for various code snippets. I haven't even looked at the MVC ones. It doesn't look like there's too much in there, but let's look at Visual C Sharp here. Oh, Nelly! Look at all these code snippets. In fact, I noticed earlier in the video I hit console right line. I hit CW, tab, tab, and that popped up our word console right line. Let's slide a do loop there. Else, I've never used help. Here's four, four each. Ooh, a different kind of four. Description code snippet for a reverse for loop. Let's try that one out. Cancel, uh, four, tab. Oh, I need another R on there. Tab. I, I gets length, it's going to be people.length, minus one, we're going to start at the end of the array, tab, tab, I don't like I, let's call it me index, actually I do like I, but I'm changing it to me index, just so I can show you when I change it to me index, the rest of the I's update, hit enter, console, right line, CCW, I'll hit tab, tab, it expands, now I can say people, sub, me, index, sub, control F5, here are the people in the order I typed them in, Jamie, Jim, Bob, and then in reverse order, Bob, Jim, Jamie. All right, let me bring up that code snippets manager again, control KB, and choose C sharp, visual C sharp. Let's look at the code snippet for just a for loop here. I click here, I get a description, I get a shortcut, the shortcut is FOR, you saw me use FOR here, and then hit tab. Snippet types, there's two different types of snippet types, we can expand or we can surround with. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to get rid of all this code here. And let's do console right line. What is your name? And string, your name gets console our read line and CW your name it's almost like hello world we're feeling good about ourselves let's run that my name is Jamie 
and outputs Jamie. Very cool. What if I want to do that over and over and over again? I want, I don't know, I, I keep forgetting their name. Maybe there's a ton of people on the computer fighting over it. Who knows? Okay, I can highlight all this, and I can do a code snippet on it to surround it. Right? Control K S. Hit the down arrow. I'm looking for my for loop. You know what? Let's do a while loop. I think there's a code snippet for a while loop. Yep. Hit enter. While true. While true is good enough for me. Hit enter, and you can see we've surrounded all of our content with this while loop. That's a surrounds with. Okay, you can be a surrounds with, or you can be an expansion. For example, if I go up here and type wall and hit tab, tab, then it just expands. I didn't surround anything with. So, uh, control KB. Let's bring up the code snippets manager again. Let's again look at Visual C Sharp. I encourage you to go in here and mess around, look, look at what different code snippets there are. Let's look at the wall loop here. Expansion surrounds with author. Looks like Microsoft. Uh, wrote that code snippet, and they wrote it forever ago. All right now, as a clicker on here, you'll notice up here these file names up here change. All right, the files up here, the file names, are the names of the files that contain the quote-unquote code for our code snippets. All right, and and the co the quote-unquote code for a code snippet is simply XML. Let's grab this while loop. I'm going to highlight all this. Control C. Click Cancel, Control O to open a file in Visual Studio. Paste right here, Control V. I'm going to open wall snippet. I don't know if that'll work. Maybe I have to paste it down here. I don't know. Paste it in one of those locations. Here's the XML file. And hey, look, title, while, shortcut, while. You know, I'm going to say while loop here. I'm going to hit Control S. I'm going to hit Control, Control S to save. Control KB. Open up the code snippets manager again. Let's look at Visual C Sharp. Visual C Sharp. Go find that while loop. But the, oh, look, it says while loop now. Remember it said while before? I just changed the title, and that's what shows up here. You can see, though, the shortcut is still the same. While, W-H-I-L-E, if I wanted to change the shortcut, I could say while D, 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 D. Right, uh, control C that, Control S to save it. Let's go back to our program. In fact, I'm going to do a new vertical tab group, and and uh, oh, I guess we'll keep this on the left. Let's get rid of all all all, <laughs> all of our while loop stuff there. And I'm going to type while, and I was expecting it to say D D D D D. Let me Control Shift S. Usually Visual Studio. I'm not sure why it's not picking up on that. Usually it's faster at picking up on that. Wild. I'm going to I'm gonna pause the video and, and restart Visual Studio and see if it will pick up on my change here. Okay, that seemed to work. All I did was restart Visual Studio. Generally, I don't have to restart Visual Studio. But you see I have while here. This icon indicates a C-sharp keyword. And then I have my code snippet, which used to be called while, but now I called it the while. D -d 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 hit enter. Hit tab. And it expands, and I can put a condition here if I want to, or I can rely on true, either one. But you don't get out of code snippet modification mode until you hit enter. You have to hit enter out of there, and then Visual Studio will say, oh, okay, we're done with the, the code snippet thing. So I'm going to change this back. All right, I want the shortcut to be while, and then while loop. Let's just change it back to be consistent with everything else in there. Then code snippet with a while loop. Control KB, bring up the code snippets manager again. I'm going to go find while loop down here. Oh, I didn't detect that yet. Code snippet for a while loop, code snippet for a while loop. So you can see all this information uh, comes from this header information. Okay, and I can say, hey, this code snippet is an expansion. I showed you expansion. Okay, here I am expanding the while code snippet. I just expanded it. Surround with, I showed you how I could highlight some code and hit control KS. Maybe I want to surround this while loop with another while loop. Control K S to surround with and let's surround it with another while loop or maybe a lock or a namespace or whatever I want to. Hit enter and there we go. We just did a surrounds with. And then here's the actual snippets code down here. We have declarations. These are variable declarations for code snippet. And then we have the actual code here defined in a C data section. That's an XML C data section. If you don't understand those, it just essentially allows us to type whatever we want to 
between the two square brackets without messing up the XML. All right, going back to these declarations, these are pretty much variables. Okay, declaration, literal, it's a literal declaration, meaning we'll type something there. ID is expression, this has to match this. Tooltip, expression evaluate. All right, let's go do another while loop. Hit enter, tab. Oh, I gotta do a while D D D D D because I haven't restarted Visual Studio yet. But while D D D D D hit tab, expression to evaluate. You see how we're getting that help there? That comes from this part of the tooltip. Expression is the variable. We said while expression. Notice in our actual code we have to surround the variable name with dollar signs. That's just specific to code snippets. That's how we denote variables different from just regular text in our code. So while expression, when we open up the code snippet, while, we have to fill in the variables. The default text for this expression is T-R-U-E. That's not a value, it's text. Okay, and then the tooltip, I already showed you the tooltip. With a surrounds with, when we do a surrounds with, this dollar sign, selected dollar sign, that's special to code snippets. It says, whatever they had selected, that's where you need to paste that in there. So before, when I had those three lines of code to ask for your name and then print it out, don't blink. So here's the code I had before, and I shall highlight this, hit Control K S, and do my while loop. And when I hit enter, whatever I have selected, which is this three lines of code, they will be pasted right where selected is. Okay, the dollar sign and dollar sign is when I hit enter to get out of code snippet mode, that's where the cursor needs to end up. All right, so let me hit enter. You see my text is right there now. I can type whatever I want here to fill in the expression variable. Let's just leave it to true. And then when I hit enter, the cursor will go to end here, which is after the selected stuff. After we pasted all this in here, the cursor will end up down here. Enter, and we're good to go. So that's a whirlwind tour of code snippets, but that's essentially everything I know about code snippets. All right, that's all I use, and that's not to say other features of code snippets aren't important or not. They just haven't been helpful for me, so I haven't learned them, but I thought it'd be useful to slap this together real fast. Let me show you a for loop before we get out of here. Remember, if I want to open up the XML code snippet file for a for loop, I'll hit Control k b to bring up the code snippets manager. I'll go find Visual C Sharp, Visual C Sharp, for loop. Where are you, buddy? I guess it's alphabetical. I'm, I'm real good here. Click on for, highlight all this, Control c cancel, Control a O, tell Visual Studio to open a file. I guess I could have just hit Control O and then selected the snippet file since I'm already in there, but whatever. Here's the for loop. Open it. And you can see it's also an expansion. It's also a surrounds with. Here's the title, shortcut, all that stuff. But then there's two variables here. There's index and there's length. All right, let me take this to the right. And I think I'll get rid of this while loop right there. Then notice here, we have index, okay, its default text is i, because usually when we do a for loop, we iterate over i, and here's index, here's index, here's index, and notice they throw the plus plus on there for us, so when I hit for, hit tab, and scroll out there, hopefully you have the video turned up to high definition, you see i here, well, say I don't want i, maybe I want me index, and I hit tab, well, all the eyes will change as well. I believe I might have shown that before. So all the eyes changed to me index, length, let's just say 10. And when I hit enter, where is the cursor going to end up? Can you tell just by looking at the code snippet right here? Hopefully you remember, oh, we have this end there. So then I'll say hit enter, and the cursor's placed right there. Now let me show you what even prompted this video. Let me close this. I think we're done with this. Let's Close this, yeah, save changes. Let me bring this in. And when I first created this project, this was a Visual Studio C Sharp project. And as usual, Visual Studio is way too helpful, right? I think Visual Studio, the people that make Visual Studio are trying to help people that don't know how to program to program, which is good. I, I want everyone to become a programmer. Obviously, 
That's or everyone who wants to become a programmer, I want to become a programmer, and, and that's why I'm building the channel. But I don't want people just to go in there and start copy paste and hacking around. I think Visual Studio all too often helps the novice uh, really get into a pickle. But anyway, when I created this project, Visual Studio added all these usings up here. I don't I don't use most of these by default. And then I got this namespace. You know when I'm messing around, I don't like namespaces. And then string array args. For real, how often do I use that? If I need it, I'll add it, but most of the time I don't need that. And so, so when I add a file to Visual Studio or create a new project, all I would like is maybe the using system at the top. Please forget the namespace. Uh, let's bring all this back. I hit Shift Tab to bring that back, or I hit, could hit Control K D to bring that back as well. Let's get rid of the string array args and then put my cursor right here. That's all I want. But Visual Studio is too helpful. It adds all this other stuff. And I could probably go into my hard drive and modify the template file they use for this and, and, and get what I want. But more importantly, I'll write up a lot of code. I'll just fiddle around, fiddle around. And then I want to, when I'm done and I've learned whatever I'm trying to learn from fiddling around, I just want to, I want to go back to a static void main real easy. Well, one way to do that is control A, highlight all of that as I showed you, and then SVM. SVM is short for static void main. Hit tab, tab, and oh, look, I get a static void main, but then I get string array args, and I don't get the usings. You know, I have to come in here and using system class main class, add the curlies, and this just takes time. I'd rather just static void main and be done. So, can you feel what's, what I'm about to do here? I'm going to hit control K, B, bring up the code snippets manager. Choose Visual C, C Sharp, and let's go find SVM for Static Void Main. I'm going to highlight all this, Control C, Cancel, Control O to open the file, paste it in there. Here it is. Let's modify this using system, semicolon, uh, bring this all the way back, class, main class, and I don't necessarily have to format this code snippet. Visual Studio will auto format it after I use the code snippet, but I like it formatted. So there we go. Using system, I want one new line there. Get rid of the string array args. And then when I hit enter, or when we've expanded this, then we'll put the cursor right there. Notice it's just an expansion, it's not a surrounds with. I'll hit Control S to save this. Go back to program.cs and say I write my code, write my code. I learn what I'm trying to learn. Control A. S, V, M, hit tab, tab, and voila, I'm back to ground zero. That's nice. That's nice. Now, this is a long video. I'm sorry it's so long. I don't want to make a playlist on code snippets. I don't think they're worth it, but I definitely wanted to expand your knowledge on code snippets so you're not in the dark, but I'm always using them to get the idea. And I've, I've essentially told you everything I know about code snippets in this one video. Go forth and use them. Uh, and, and if you have a lot of code that you rewrite a lot and a lot and a lot, go make your own code snippets.